Hey guys, it's me, Angie. Get on in here. We're on our third dish of the day for our company that we're having for uh, New Year's Eve. We've made Mexican cornbread, sausage balls, and now we're doing jambalaya, crawfish pie, filet gumbo. No, actually, we're just doing jambalaya. So, James has just got through sauteing the sausage. Now, y'all didn't get here. Don't feel like you're behind because you're not. So, you just saute your sausage, which is about, what would you say, a pound, pound and a half? Yeah. A sausage, just smother it down. Now he's adding chicken, which he's using thighs, but you can use breast, uh, any part of the chicken you want to use, but he loves thighs, he and my daughter. So, we're using thighs. All right, he's got that uh, sizzling. You can probably hear it. Let me get over here to it, see if I can not get a looky looky. And actually, what was left of the sausage uh, smothering down, he left it in there and he, he's cooking the chicken in that. He left it in this uh, pot. The oil, the season off the sausage. Yeah, the season off the sausage. I'll let him explain it. He knows better than I do. Uh, all right, he's going to go ahead and explain it, James. You just want to cook your chicken till it's, it's done. I mean, basically done. He, he took it off the bone, and it's just pieces of thighs, all it is. He deboned it. Cut it up in little chunks. So, and it shouldn't take it very long to... Uh, After you get all your ingredients in there, your rice and everything, it's about 30 minutes for that rice to cook down. And uh, But what we'll do is... Uh, We'll put our broth and all that in there, the rice. And then when that rice starts coming back up to the top, we're going to turn that heat down and uh, let it simmer. And put a lid on it. Lid it up, and the rice and all is going to basically steam and then absorb all the flavor in there. And we're not going to take a peek for how long? About 30 minutes. But you want to keep stirring this to uh to get it right to get it get it done but when you never stop stirring even whenever you get that rice in there you want to keep it moving or it's going to stick down at the bottom and once your rice comes up then you're going to turn the heat down and you're going well, we to we haven't got that far yet we're going to start adding something here again. Let me add a little bit of this seasoning right here. What you got? That's Slappy Mama. We're going to try this today. Turn that around. Let's only see it. It's got a little bit of... Uh, and no, we're not basketball. sponsored by that uh, seasoning. <laughs> we just eat it. We like it. <laughs> That season is going to pick up some of this juice in here. Ooh, if y'all could just, we had smell of vision and y'all could smell this right now. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Put a little bit more in there. Go easy on it now. That might have some salt in it. Let's see. We're going to add a little cayenne. Seriously, go real easy on that. You know the company we have coming, they don't do well with heat. And they want to eat some, so. I tell you one good way not to have company is to uh, live in Mississippi and heat your food up, season it up uh, with some heat and they won't come over. <laughs> Put no bay in it. A little bit, little, just a little bit. Might have. But if you want yours red, I mean, you can add a little tomato sauce, tomato sauce in it. Which 
I mean, it's pretty. Oh. I didn't add no pork meat to it. I mean, you can add any kind of meat. Any, any kind of meat you want to it. Oh. So whatever you want to add to it. Can you see it? I think I'm going to get closer, guys, so y'all can see it. All right, that's the thighs. See him making his own liquid too? All right. What we're fixing to do is put our sausage back in there. Cause I mean, I this... thought we added the uh, the Trinity. Well, we can. That way that'll be sauteed down and be soft. Right. And then we'll add the sausage back to it. Alright, let's add the Trinity. Got onion. What is, is it the Holy Trinity? Yeah. We'll New Orleans style. It. Add the Pope. The Pope is the garlic. We're going to add some of that to it. Celery. Got to stir. Did you add the garlic, baby? No. no. Oh, okay. Still got to put the bell pepper in there. It comes later, though. I guess you can add it when you want to. That's I think we're to saute all down at the same time. Right. All right, he's out, uh, adding some bell pepper. Now, to be honest with you, I can make this, but I make it from a box. He's there's, making it from scratch. There's the garlic. And all that in there. All right, We're so we start. got... Ooh, if y'all could smell this, I would have company for days. You had to line up out there by the street. Give them a bowl. Give them a bowl. So we just just keep moving it around till them your vegetables get soft. That way they pick up all that extra seasoning off of the onion and the garlic. The bell pepper is sweet, kind of give it a little sweet taste to it. Even have the sausage in there yet. That nope. smells that good. Mm, mm, mm. Now we're gonna have to have some liquid to cause that uh, rice to cook. So that's gonna come up later. You'll see how we gonna we gonna do that. See, everything's got a purpose. <laughs> got the flat edge, scrape that bottom off of there. Got a little bit of dip in it. Turn him over, run him around in the, in the pot. Oh, now we're getting there. add the sausage back. Remember, we sauteed this before we uh, started the video. All you do is just put it in your pot, let it sweat, let it cook down. Add a little bit of that oil back in there. Did you put all of it in there, back? Not yet. Oh. I'm just stirring. We may have gotten too much meat. Somebody probably calling us about our car warranty. We're not going to answer that right now. I know y'all don't get calls like that. Is that 
All right. right. Oh. Now we're going to add our rice. You want to add the rice? Yes. Go ahead and add the rice. All right. We got three cups of rice that we're going to cook. Stir him in there a little bit. The way I do it for every cup of rice, I add two cups of water. But we're gonna add chicken broth. Now that's what's going to cook the rice, but we're going to have to add a little water because we don't have, enough. that was only four cups of chicken uh, stock, so we're going to have to add two cups of water. A little secret. Now we're going to stir it. Get him down in there. We'll have to Add some more seasoning because we got to watch that seasoning now because that chicken stock's going to be uh, uh, salty to begin with. What do you want to put in it? A little more pepper. I need a little bit. But I'm going to put some uh, kitchen bouquet. What it's going to do is I like mine dark. I don't like it red. But you don't just add a little bit. Stir it. And it's going to darken it up. Add a little bit. Stir it. Oh. Got to keep him in the pot. Now don't stick that spoon back in there. <laughs> it gave me a dirty look when I said that. <gasps> oh, that's good. All right, put the lid on it. A little bit more. I want a little darker. Need to give a little tomato. No, it's good. See how it got darker? All right, guys. We just to put the lid on it, cut the burner down. We got to let this thing come back to a bowl. You let it come back to a bowl, put the lid on it, and cook down for about 30 minutes. We'll turn that heat down. And all you're doing, it's just like a rice cooker. All we're doing is then you're steaming it. You're just making it steam up. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Kitchen bouquet. See y'all later. Remember, come back to a bowl, put the lid on it for 30 minutes. Don't, don't peek. No peeking now.